Namaste. As in any deep hip opening asanas, the key to safety is the engagement of the energetic locks or the bandhas, especially when we are about to enter the position, yeah, since we are putting more pressure and weight on the joints of the body, you know, weight bearing positions, that's when the bandhas are very helpful. All right, this is not a basic tutorial of the Badrasana or the gracious pose. Yeah, I will be sharing with you some breathing techniques yeah, for you to accomplish this advanced hip opening yeah, asana safely. All right, if you've not done this before, don't do this. Yeah, and this requires years of progressive learning and practice, preparation, and ideally with the guidance of a teacher. All right, so it's not just about rotating yeah, the limbs of the body. It's about breathing through the inner lines of the hips, particularly the sacrolumbar region, yeah, as well as the utilization of the breath. Yeah, so the Badrasana is ideally practiced towards the end of your asana. Yeah, um, recommended yeah, after the back bending, so your spine and the rest of your extremities are already open. All right, so you start with the Badakonasana, this one. All right, now, yeah, breathing in, use your hands, inhale, this is synchronicity, inhale, and then simultaneously, yeah, rotating the thigh bones externally, but the inhalation being, yeah, pulling in and then hugging in. The Saudiana Banda, yeah, brings everything to the midline. And you exhale. So every time you attempt to roll on your joints and then put uh, weight bearing, uh, I mean, put the pressure or the weight of the body to those joints, you need to do the breath, inhalation. Good. And then rolling, exhaling, inhale. Inhalation, inhalation. So you are keeping the joints light. Inhalation, inward and upwards. Exhalation, and then settle into your position. Uh, so if you notice, yeah, every time I attempt uh, to go deeper into the position, I engage the breath. Inhale. Yes. So the breath is rising. Udi and Abanda done on the inhalation makes the body light. That's uh, why it's also called the flying up lock because it makes the body so light. Yeah, so you release yeah, and prevent. Yeah the pressure of your body to pour down to those delicate joints of your hips, yeah, your knees, and even the ankles. Good. And in here, yeah, since the legs are you know, rotating externally, internally, they hug to the midline, actually, yeah, into the midline. So you just don't flare them out. Rather, as you open them, yeah, you're going to draw the energy to the middle channel. That's the concept of yeah, the Padrasana. Yeah. You open yeah, the lines and the joints of the body, but yeah, those energy yeah, forces flowing through them, you collect to the midline. Good. And as you exhale, you don't release the weight of the body by pouring it down, rather exhale, hugging to the midline. Inhale, draw to the midline and lift, and exhale, soften. All right, and then you can yeah, adjust your weight yeah, to suit yeah, the, symmet uh, the symmetry of your hips. All right, good. And then how do you really? Same as the entry, breathing in, lift, so the weight doesn't pour down to your legs and the joints, inhaling. You may place your hands there and then lean forward. Good. And then press and then moving your knees back under your hips. Right. And then you can massage your knees by walking them. All right, you might circle around. All right, so let's do that one more time. This time I'm going to angle this position so you can see. Yeah. 
you know, the angle, the saw. All right, chest lift and exhaling. All right, breathing in, rolling externally, but the breath is drawing internally. Exhale. Yeah, if you're light already, you can do it in one go, rolling both sides all at once, breathing in, catching, exhaling. All right, chest opens, yeah, but don't fight it. And shoulders loosen to the back plane. Inhalation, inward and upwards. And exhalation, hugging to the midline. And then, yeah, I'm using my tongue actually to draw more spaces inside. Yeah, this is where the Blavini Pranayama, yeah, that lesson I shared with you a while back where the tongue is resting and then slightly digging down the bottom of the teeth towards the gums and then inspire through yeah, the mental nerves. We're gonna feel. Yeah, you're able to irrigate this channel all the way up and exhale. All right, so the yeah, Madrasana, or some schools call this the Mula uh, um, Bandasana, yeah, yeah, affects yeah, the three important energetic. Um, uh, body parts, yeah, namely yeah, the mula bandha, yeah, the mula dara chakra, yeah, the pelvic floor, the shodhisthana around the sacrum, and the se uh, bottom half of the manipura chakra. Good. Breathing in. Exhale, inhale, preparation for the release, like the frog. And exhale, press, draw inward, and then back to the midline. All right, you can curl your toes there, and then you can do alternating three-legged dog to loosen, and then just march and then bend your knees. Yeah, normally I would do a, a strasana after, you know, to counter yeah, the deep external.